Hi, I'm here to show you how to create a histogram. Um, so first of all, I have uh, 30 pieces of data over here on the left. There's my first piece of data. And if you scroll down, it goes all the way to A31, uh, which is 30 pieces of data. So it starts at A2 and goes all the way to A31. I have 31 pieces of data. Before you start a histogram, normally you want to know what your smallest and your largest piece of data is. So what you can do is click on the first piece of data and highlight all your data. I'm going all the way down. Highlighted all my data. If you're at in the home uh, tab, go to the data tab and we're going to sort this data from lowest number to highest number. Um, so right here, if you go to A to Z, it sorts from smallest to largest, lowest to highest, same thing. Um, if you go to Z to A, it is sorted from highest to uh, lowest. So A to Z, lowest to highest. I click on that. Uh, I say sort. And now all my data is sorted. You see I have two as my um, largest piece of, uh, smallest piece of data. I go all the way down and 23 is my largest piece of data. So the data goes from 2 to 23. This is important because we need to know the range of our data. So our range is 23 minus 2. You take your largest minus the smallest and you get 21. This is the range of our data. So I'm typing in range there. Okay. Um, next you want to check your problem out and look at how many classes you want in your histogram. Classes are basically how many columns you want in our in your histogram. Um, for data that's less than 50, you normally want between five and seven columns. So any any data that's less than 50 uh, pieces of data, you want between five and seven. Um, columns or classes. Um, so, in, in creating a histogram, they're going to call this creating a you know it's a class. Um, so, if the problem doesn't tell you, then you pretty much can put any as many as you want. Um, but you want to remember, you're doing this histogram for a reason. You're doing it to create a, a graphical representation of this data, so it's easy easy to understand. So I'm going to create five classes and or uh, five columns on my histogram. So I know I'm going to have five classes. So I'm going to take my range 21 and divide it by 5. 21 divided by 5 is 4.2. Okay, so this is called my class width. Now, what you always do with your class width, especially when you're dealing with the whole numbers like we are right now, you're always going to round it up to the next higher number. So we're not rounding 4.2. Uh, if you round 4.2, you change it to 4. Um, we're always going to take it, a decimal number up to the next higher uh, whole number when we're dealing with just whole numbers. So 4.2 if you take it to the next higher whole number will be 5. So 5 is my new class width. Now what is a class width? Class width is how wide my column is going to be. So I'm going to have 5 columns, 5 classes. Each column is going to be have a width of 5. Okay. Um, now there's a couple of ways of doing your, your widths also. I'm going to do it uh, the traditional way at first. Um, our lowest number is 2. So I'm going to put down uh, class width. I'm going to start down here. Uh, we're going to start with the lowest class width and then the highest class width. The lowest class width is 2. And we already said our class width, how wide it's going to be, is 5. If I add 5 to 2, I get 7. That's the start of my next class width. If I add 5 to 7, I get 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 5 is 22. Do you see? I have five different class widths now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But these are the low ends. The high end class width is how wide the uh, column is going to be. So if the low end is 2, the high end has to be less than 7. Uh, it's going to be 6. Now, if you look at 2 to 6, 
This is actually a class with a five. The, the number two counts in it. The number three, four, five, and six. Do you see? Two, three, four, five, six. Five numbers are in between two and six. So that's our class with the five. Any number be two and through six, two, three, four, five, and six, will be counted in the column in this first class um, column. Okay? So next uh, from seven, we're going to go one less than the next highest column. Uh, so it's going to be seven, eleven. Uh, then it's going to be 12 to 16, uh, 17, you see 22 starts here, so it's going to be 7 to 21, and then 22, um, and 5 more down here would be 27, but 5 more here would be 26. If you, if you look at that last column, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26, so that's also uh, a, a width of 5. So here are my class classes I have five classes the first one is two to six um, you know the first column is going to be everything between two to six the second column is going to be everything everything between seven to eleven the third column everything between twelve and sixteen um, so these are my columns um, so we're going to call um, The book now shows you to create bins. The book shows you to create bins. Um, any book really will, will show you how to create a bin now. So let me let me show you how to create a bin uh, so we get all our data in there. If we left it like this, our data would be in there just fine. Um, but there's another way of looking at this. Uh, to ensure that the number two gets into our data, we can go a half less and a half more. So um, if you look at two, I can put 1.5 in there, and six, I can put 6.5. You see, I take a half below and a half above it. Uh, if you look at seven, we're between 6.5 and 11.5. And, and we, we're going to call this the, uh, the bends. Uh, here we start at 11.5 again, and we go to 16.5, uh, 16.5 to 21.5, and then we go 21, 21.5 to 26.5. So we're going to call these our bins, uh, and this is our upper bin. I'm just putting our upper bin here. I'm just writing upper and our lower. Um, this is to ensure that the data uh, gets into uh, that class width. Um, now let's let's see what our, our histogram is going to look like. This is pretty much all the work you have to do. Uh, let's see what our histogram is going to look like. Um, I'm going to go to insert Actually, I'm going to data. So I, I started at home. Now I'm at data. Come to the far right and click on data analysis. Now, if you don't see data analysis in this box, then you can go to my YouTube website and click on how to uh, and, and watch the video on how to install the data analysis tool pack into your Microsoft uh, Excel. So if you don't see this data analysis uh, icon, uh, this, this box right here that I'm going to click on, if you don't see that, you need to load your data analysis tool pack. Uh, and I have a uh, help video on that. So I'm going to click on that and scroll down to I see histogram. Here's histogram. I highlighted it and I clicked OK. OK, so this box appears. The input range is all my data. So I'm going to click on all my data, start on the first piece of data, go all the way down, and do you see from, from A2 to A31, all the data was inputted there. Next, they want to know my binge range. Uh, in other words, the, the binge range is the upper, the upper limit. To what's going to go in each box. 
and uh, you can click on this here's my upper limit and highlight that and if you look that came into here from G 10 all the way to G 14 um, I'm now clicking chart output I don't want cumulative percentages uh, you can try that and see what that looks like um, and then I'm just gonna hit OK when I hit OK my histogram is going to go to an actual new page so you're going to see it on a new page I hit OK it's forming and here is my histogram now it tells me the amount of numbers that were in the first bin nine of them the amount of numbers in the second bin you see here in the first bin there were nine pieces of data in the second bin they were eight seven three um, and then there's a more category you can actually just delete the more I just click on it over here in the bin and frequency click and hit delete and it's gone okay so now the last thing you need to do to create a histogram histogram does not have these gaps between them so you click on <clears throat> any of the columns I clicked on a column right click and go down to format data series once you go to format data series down here at the bottom right it says gap width just move that little tick mark all the way to the left to get zero gap width and your histogram is now formed this is how you create a histogram um, now there's one more thing I want to do if you want to watch I'm coming back uh, to all our uh, uh, all our uh, histograms if you go back to, to look at the histogram here this says zero uh, 6.5 it says uh, 6.5 is actually the last number in the bin and it, and it also it looks like it says 0 to 6.5 but it doesn't it's actually remember the smallest number was 2 to 6.5 so I don't think th this histogram is nice but I don't think it's a clear representation of the number of uh, defective items I could have and I'm going to show you why so the defective items are between 2 and 6 in the first bin but in reality you could have one defective item or zero and that's not represented here I mean the histogram we we just did was fine but to, to create a truly representative histogram what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase all of this so I'm gonna erase this and watch watch how I do this and I'm gonna erase all of this and I'm gonna come up here and in my range my lowest number was two I'm changing my range to the lowest number as zero because there could be zero or one defective items there could be zero or one defective items so if I started uh, 23 minus zero I would get a, t a range of 23 uh, if you if I divided 23 by 5 I would get 4.6 and that still gives me a, a class width of 5 but my low end would be 0 add 5 to that add 5 to that is the next 10 add 5 to that 15 add 5 to that 20 there's my five classes uh, between 0 1 2 3 4 5 that would be 4 9 14 Give me a second here. Five more is 19 and five more is 24. So if you look here, we're still within our range. The lowest number was two 
and the highest number is 23 so we're all going to fit in here um, and so I'm going to create these bins now from 0 to 4, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, uh, 15 to 19, and 20 to 24. Now to make it even a little bit better and a little bit easier to understand instead of saying 0 to 4 and 5 to 9, I want to make it say 0 to 5. See, I want my upper bin, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to change this. Um, and 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 make it go from zero to five, and then the upper bin will be ten. The upper next would be fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. It's easier to to look at this if if you look at the upper bins as going to five, to ten, to fifteen, twenty, uh, and that last one should be twenty-five. Okay, um, it just it's just a cleaner looking histogram now watch what I do when I create this histogram remember that 5 10 15 20 25 that's gonna sh be, be that number on the histogram that's gonna be easier to view so I'm going to data click on data analysis go to histogram hit OK and my bin range it's still there all my data but now my class my my I mean my my input range is there but now I want this I'm going to erase this as my bin range uh, where all my the ending data will be and I'm gonna add in these numbers 5 through 25 uh, watch what happens when I do that I'm click OK and my histogram is gonna pop up you see, here's my histogram now, and it's, I think it's a cleaner histogram. Uh, when I click on uh, a number, uh, one of the columns, right-click, go to Format Data Series, and decrease my gap width to zero. It now shows me every five as my bin range, uh, from zero to five. Ten, you know, then the next one is from five to uh, ten, uh, 15, 15 to 20. <clears throat> And so the number five will go into the first, will be into the first class in the first column. Uh, the number 10, you know, from, so six to 10 goes in the second column um, and, and so on and so on. 11 to 15 goes in the third column. Um, it, I just think it's, it's, it's a little easier to, to display this data to a group of people where you said, okay, zero to five, five to 10, 10 to 15. And you're looking at this. These are the the, the errors of uh, the amount of defective items, and you could say per day or per week or whatever it is. The frequency uh, of defective items per week or per day. And so that's all I had on histogram. Um, if anybody has any questions, especially if there's a if there is a uh, if the problem doesn't state how many classes or how many um, what the class width should be um, it's, it's really important to, to to be able to do what the book tells you to but also be able to display the data and change the data so it's easier to read in, in case you're doing this <clears throat> for an actual group of people call me if you have any questions